okay fine so today we will continue with the discussion of the we'll try to understand what is the SSA stabler model okay and if possible we will extend tomorrow also because already 8 23 now I'm not sure whether we are going to complete today so today's topic is SSA stabler model okay so I'm just taking a simple report so we are talking about the limitations of the power bi desktop so as i explained in that limited like on the demo session or maybe first day or second day there are certain limitations for example i taken four tables right if the four table data size total size exceeds more than 2 gb more than 2 gb then we cannot able to bring the one more table here for example get data sql server if the table having the see usually transaction tables will have more data right so if it is exists more than 2 gb data then we cannot able to pull the data into the power bi desktop even if it have the huge number of data like when or you go for the calculations new column or new measure anyhow new column new measure will be discussed as part of dax probably uh, starting from day after tomorrow most probably and we will discuss that time so what i'm trying to explain whatever design or uh, if you have the huge data into the power bi desktop itself that means we are putting the burden on the power bi desktop okay in the front end power bi desktop itself we are just applying the burden on the power bi desktop if you have the huge number of data instead of that one <clears throat> what you can do like uh, what are the model we have relationship here this complete model can be this complete model can be moved to the back end also what is the meaning of back end instead of doing in the power bi desktop we can do it in the somewhere else that somewhere else is nothing but i am talking about the ssa is tabular model so straightforward question is when do you go for the tabular model if you have the only 1 gb data throughout in the sql server then no need of going for this model at all for example if the my database size is having like more than 100 gb I have lots of transaction table lots of dimension table then power bi will supposed to be get the data from the ssa stabler model which is nothing but analysis services so i can simply showcase for example i can go to analysis services and uh, provide the server name okay and I have already ready-made some cubes also available. But if you ask me, Bala, how did this cube has been created? How does this cube has been created? That is only I'm going to showcase first. First, I will showcase how to create the databases like this. And then, and then we will discuss how to pull the data into the Power BI desktop. Okay. To explain that one, explain that one i'm just opening the sql server so as i told you no hurry here if required i will move to tomorrow also but try to understand i'm connecting to sql server database any version you can install it but i'm using latest version now connect to database engine click on the connect button till this point you guys already know but along with the sql server there is an option called like uh, analysis services as well listen carefully analysis services if you ask me the same option here also you could be able to see analysis services so are you able to understand me then what i'm trying to explain Midun, are you there? Ah, uh, Abai. Uh, yes, what? What we are trying <coughs> to do, Abai? Can you please tell me? No, we are trying to connect to analysis services. What is the need of going to analysis services? Because Already we are taking data from SQL Server, right? Yeah, because if the table is more than two TB. Yes. We 
I was just thinking that well, uh, can, uh, because I'm weak, I'm in uh, finance and I don't have options for this. No problem, no problem. So most of the people, most of the people will know, I mean, may not be thinking about the SCS tabular model because they don't know much about the tabular model background. Okay. okay. If you know, you can implement. So I could say like 70, 80% people don't even implement the SCS tabular model. They will directly pull the data from the SQL Server database, load it, visualize it. Because whenever they have a huge number of data, then only they will face the problems. When only they face the problem, then only they will think of the solution, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Because I'm not using the skills, but I'm just using Excel. Right, right, right. That's what. So if the size is very less, nobody will think of the databases or SSAS model or SQL Server database. Directly they will pull the data from the Excel files. But whenever the Excel file is increasing like anything, then they will later part they will realize. Midhan, you were asking something, SharePoint. So I cannot showcase here. If you ask me, yes, we can download the report from the SharePoint directly into Power BI Desktop. Already we have the options. So, so this is what about the SQL Server database and Analysis Services Cube database. Now, SSAS. 9th April tablet tech and there are three or four projects available here databases. So what I'm going to do I am going to create a one more database with our Like uh, 9th May something like this Clear now So for this one I'm sure you will face like you know installation how to install the MSBA usually so whatever Whatever this SCS tabular model it is a part of MSBI. So I'm not going to give detail. MSBI is nothing but an SSAS module. So there is a tool from the Microsoft only SSIS, SSRS, SSAS modules. Everything combined will be called as a MSBA course. Ignore the first two option. In MSBA, there is a module called SSAS. The full form is SQL Server Analysis Services. In this, we have two models. One is multi-dimensional, another one is <clears throat> one is multi-dimensional, another one is tabular model tabular model whatever in power bi we use that is called as a tabular model analysis services tabular model there is a one more model also but i'm ignoring this one just ignore everything whatever i will explain today just to go to home and practice it that is more than enough for the for as but a power bi developer so now let me quickly go to the start button we need to install the SQL Server data tools as you can see in the bracket here. SSDT full form is SQL Server data tools and Visual Studio. So again repeating don't get confused whomever don't know the SQL Server or don't know MSBA completely ignore today's topic is not at all need for you guys not at all need for you guys whomever knows already little bit knowledge in the SQL or uh, SSAS module they can easily understand I'm opening the Visual Studio and uh, go to file take a new project <clears throat> as I told you this is a BI business intelligence MSBI we have three module analysis services which is nothing but this one SSAS analysis services integration services SSIS SQL Server integration services third module would be SSRS reporting services but which which one we are going to discuss now SSAS analysis services right select the analysis services analysis services ignore wherever import is there ignore wherever import is there like which will give me the support for the existing projects 
if we ignore the import analysis services we have only two option one is multi-dimensional another one is a tabular model will you agree or not this is a tabular model this is the multi-dimensional model as i explained in the excel uh, notepad we are going to discuss about the only tabular model only tabular model now tell me which, which option I, I should go select the fifth option tabular model give some name as i told you i will be using yeah yeah 2018 like uh, ssas i could say you can give any name here no worries i will save under your folder only so that if you guys require i will share with you guys i don't know what is this nine to me okay fine so click on the okay button okay so this is the window this is the window or interface which we connected to visual studio as of now within a visual studio we are connecting to the sql server analysis services tabler model as you can see right side here there is a tabler model Expo explorer and uh, if we there are lots of options available here lots of options available for example import from the data sources existing connections and there is a build also available build solution rebuild and deploy the solutions and the project level also add our new items available like everything is not required but at least to understand as part of power bi developer first thing is we should get some sample data right yes or no so we, in in power bi desktop also first thing we will going to get data and getting some ta table data into power bi desktop then only we are going for the modeling and all correct or not so i am just going for the visual studio to avoid the burden on the power bi desktop same four tables even i can take it in the pod uh, this one what do you call visual studio ssas and i can go for the visualizations I mean visualization I can't go here I can do the modeling here so click on the data source first first make the connection so what is the source for this one for which database I'm going to connect now for here also I'm going to connect to SQL server only if you ask me that uh, like data model I have a I have a SQL server here and I have a SSA stable model and then I'm just going to have the power bi desktop here. So this is nothing but SQL database from here. I'm going to bring the data into SSEAS SSEAS and then here we have the power bi desktop power bi desktop But till now what do you guys know SQL server to directly take the data into power bi desktop and Do the modeling here only visualize everything we are doing here only if that is the case you will get more burden on the power bi desktop to avoid that one we can build one more model intermediate model that is called as a ssas tabular model so obviously if i go for the ssas tabular model what is the source for me now sql only right so now go ahead that is a visual studio now right click on the data source there is a new data source or import from the data source both will be same one will be making the connection Another one will be make the connection and get the sample data. I will go with the import option. It will open your one more window. It will take a little bit time. See this one. Have you guys seen this window anywhere? For example, file, database, Azure, online services, other. No, no one seen this window. This is the same window, right? Even Power BI Desktop also. If you go to Get Data, now see this one. Click on the More option. 
see now the same ditto the power bi desktop came after ssa stabler model only so before power bi came into the market they used to have the ssa stabler model 100% same only 100% same only so because both the tools from the microsoft only this for them is very easy to replicate the same features from the both the tools as well so data source import from the data source now tell me what is our source now go to databases select the sql server database connect it same window whatever we have shown there and uh, click on the connect option maybe this option might be new for you guys like uh, what is a user id password like is more secure way what is a user id password impersonation information is nothing but what is a user id password you're using to trying to connect to the source database so now what is happening now i am staying in the visual studio which is nothing but ssa stabler model but i'm trying to connect to the sql server when i connect to sql server it is evaluating the authentication now so now i'm just using my windows user id and the password click on the connect button click on ok sometimes it will throw warning message i know it now see same window sql server also we could be able to connect it we could be able to connect it select the database which are you are going to connect is this showing same database or not all the database are same 2017 and click on ok button when i click on the ok button now it is showing the all the tables now we will try to replicate my couple of tables for example i want customer table date table employee table geography product tables subcategory category whichever you frequently use ones you can take it like this fact in the sales table and click on the load option see now same load option edit option everything will be same the finishing the load here now see bottom how many tables populated now now it's trying to get the data from the sql to ssa stabler model see close it now see here underlying data for example whatever you go here sorry power bi desktop if you go to data tab here whatever say the data here here also available but like appearance will be a little bit different appearance will be a little bit different and the bottom for example dim customer see the all the tables you could see here all the tables you could be able to see geography to employee table date dimension for example transaction table transaction table everything will be seen bottom also you could be able to see the how many records available and here we have a relationship tab right so here also available there is an option called diagrams click on the diagram now see for example uh, let me double click on this one now see same cardinality okay and filter directional and both the tables are something like this and 100 percent same if you ask me the same window here also appear when i double click on this one is it correct or not cardinality available and cross filter direction singular both everything will be same but little bit changes little bit naming conversion might be changes but everything will be same we are almost done we are almost done and if you want to see the relationship here how these tables are related and the model as you can see data sources this is what you can see and the kps available measures available perspectives every roles and responsibility i'm sorry here also you can create the roles which means security you can define it here and how many tables we are using in this one if you expand the tables what are the columns available okay 
so you can easily relate with these topics with the power bi desktop okay i may not be going detail because we are just i will showcase like you know how to get the data from the analysis services so now go to analysis services try to refresh still we are not able to see the our database do we have the 9th may we have it but it is only source connection this today is only right ssa is may 9th 2018 but we don't have the database it is like only connections available okay so now we are almost done we are almost design is done let's say let me add couple of measures in power bi desktop also we have option called adding a measure for example right click on this one new measure now adding like like uh, total orders equal to like a sum of order quantity and close it listen carefully i'm adding one more new measure total sales amount equal to just for understanding i'm giving okay sum of sales amount and close it let me take okay, two cards here you will easily understand so come here there are the two measures i got added as you can see the symbol different symbols there is a mobile symbol is available yes or no which is nothing but measures take the total orders change the formatting option category labels or thickness even i can make it as a none fine so even i can make a one more copy and paste it i got two copies now this one i will change it to the total sales amount total sales amount so what i'm trying to do now i am trying to compare whatever the measure what are the measure we added within the power bi desktop these numbers one is a total orders sum of order quantity another one is sum of sales amount same measures i am going to derive within ssa stabler model here and then i'm going to compare with the both the numbers are matching or not that is what my intention would be so here there is simple option is available the first thing is go to the respective table <clears throat> go to respective table and also navigate the respective column which table you are going to add the measure or to quantity right so very simplest option would be there is a sum option will be available here let's say are you able to see this sim sim symbol click on this one and select the sum here now see the bottom there is a sum of order quantity 60398 same way what is second measure i'm going to add sum of sales amount right now go to the sales amount column go to the sales amount column here and uh, take the sum by default sum or max or minimum count minimum whatever it's supposed it will be there but if you want to customize you can do the custom formatting i mean custom expression also but right now i'm just going for straight forward now see this one two nine three five is it matching or not 358.677 it's supposed to match because for uh, power bi desktop also taking the sql source only and this also taking the sql source only so now what i can do first thing is save and save all available click on the save all option now whatever we have discussed till now this is saved as part of this particular uh, project solution i could say this has to be deployed then only it will come and save under analysis services model 
so to be simple you no need to worry much go to the build build the solution first the build succeeded and the bottom also as you can see here build succeeded bottom corner the next one is go to the build if you want to rebuild so for example when you time of building something goes wrong is got fail you fix the issue again rebuild it and deploy the solution now deploy is nothing but now i'm just moving everything into the this particular uh, analysis services model everything is done close it okay and uh, <coughs> there are lots of features available here this model also you can export in excel file we will discuss later point of this one so now you understand right now try to refresh this one analysis services expand now we are supposed to get the c now we got uh, yes one is the connection another one is a db also because we deployed successfully now let it keep it open i am just opening the one more power bi desktop file <clears throat> so close it first let me save this one control s power bi i don't know what is a folder 9th may ssas Tabular model SSAS Tabular model Listen carefully till now whatever we discuss it is nothing because this is only actually as what a power bi developer you should know go to analysis services As I told you my server name will be same only and now you could see the main difference here There is a import option and connect live option is there Listen carefully import option connect live option and there is a MDX which is nothing but multi-dimensional model DAX is nothing but tabular model Okay Now let me cancel it when I go to SQL server I don't know how many of you observe this one We have an import option import option. We have been using day one you guys very familiar get the data into power bay desktop and store the data into RAM within the internal memory or in memory tool, whatever it may be. But what about direct query here? So, as I told you, if size is more than 2 GB data, you don't want to go to tabular model, then the alternative method is connect to the direct query. We are not storing data into Power BI desktop model, we are directly connected to SQL Server database and pulling the data into Power BI desktop. That is what about the direct query. I hope we spend enough time on this. Let me cancel it. Now go to the analysis services. Now you understand one is the import option, another one is the connect live option. Okay. So let me try now. <clears throat> let me try with the connect live option okay click on the ok button now are you able to see all the options yes or no now what is my database ssas may 9 2018 and this is what my model the perspective contains the following dimension measures dim customer and some of this one okay fine why it is not showing okay now i don't know how many of you observed here we we connected to only report is available no data tab is available no relationship is available because as i clearly mentioned we are doing the model completely in that ssa tabular model when are getting the data from this see this one is all options are disabled because see the right side corner here live connection connected here so let me simply take this one and uh, go for the visualizations let's say same report only same report only i'm going to do here also 
100% same data will come into picture 100% same data will come into picture the only difference is what is the difference we are not storing complete data into power bi desktop we are not putting any button on the power bi desktop we are taking data from the ssas tabular model uh, all the burden will be taken care by the ssas model <clears throat> so saving this one this is a very 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 important question you will get like uh, what is difference between okay import option and uh, direct query and live connection so i am not going to discuss now already we have discussed individually please spend some time and uh, try to get the knowledge on this one okay i hope you understand what is a live query how to get the data from the power bi desktop i mean get the data from the ssa stapler model to the power bi desktop so here let's say ssa stapler model if you want to get the sum of order quantity sum of order quantity let me take a new page i'm taking plain report plain report let's say english country wise i am taking the order quantity go to grid option enable the now this is the order quantity column which is taking from the base table yes or no same way there should be one measure right sum of order quantity sum of sales amount let me take this one as well okay and Take the sales amount column and take the sum of sales amount also listen carefully is the values are matching or not exactly values are matching exactly order quantity sum of order quantity because one is from the deriving from the power bi desktop this is from the tabular model this is power bi desktop file this is from the tabular model so 100 percent supposed to match supposed to match so we are not doing any relations for example you would like to analyze how these tables are connected what is the relation between these two nowhere option is there nowhere we have option this will handle the huge number of volume of data we are not doing any calculation now to remove this one whenever we have the sum of order quantity sum of sales amount then what is the point of having these two columns not required for me not required for me because if i say this one order quantity here we are performing the sum operation but if you go to this one which one the sum of order quantity see now we are not performing any sum here already is performing the sum in the background getting the latest data into the power bi desktop so this is how you can increase the power bi model performance so i am sure it will take minimum like one or two hours to install the make the setup is difficult but getting the data is very very easy so spend some time try to go for the installations and let me know any questions so anyhow so i can't go with another topic it will take some more time that's all for the ssa stable model and how to get the data into power bi desktop so rest will be continue from tomorrow onwards anyone has any questions bala can you please share this videos Sure, Priya. Okay, guys. So Midun and uh, others, whom are working Excel file, don't know the SQL Server. You can ignore it. You guys can continue concentrate on the Excel file and visualizations and model within the Power BI desktop. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye.